This is Teotihuacan in Mexico, the largest pre-Columbian city of the Americas. Teotihuacan was considered the pre-Hispanic New York because this was a really cosmopolitan city. People would come here from all over. So here you'd find people with different backgrounds, from different cultures, speaking different languages. Imagine this, how amazing. And here they have two big attractions. These are the closest ancient pyramids to Mexico City, perfect for a day trip. When you come to Mexico, you have to come here. Teotihuacan is one of the most visited archaeological sites in Mexico, but very little is known about this region and the ancient civilization that once thrived here. Previously, we visited the historic center of Mexico City and started learning about the people who lived in this region before the arrival of the Spanish colonizers. But the history in Teotihuacan started much earlier, before Christ, more precisely. Is this amazing or what? Viva Mexico! We thought our first challenge would be to get there, but we were wrong. It was so easy getting here to the Norte Terminal, where the buses depart for Teotihuacan. And what's the best thing, baby? Um, you're going with me? <laughs> okay, that's the best and the second best. Oh, the price. Yes. 52 pesos. Each, which is about... 260. Dollars, yeah. And the subway was 10 pesos. Extremely affordable. It is worth it going on your own. It is super easy and safe. It's not safe, right? Yeah. I saw lots of advice on YouTube, people telling not to use the subway because it's super busy. But honestly, we've been in much busier trains in other parts of the world. Yeah, right? it's easy. We got the train at 7.30. Don't know if later it'll change. Take the subway. Don't be afraid. When you arrive at the autobus station from the subway, turn left, go all the way to the end. Yeah, the very end. Gracias. Ooh, 85, and you pay an extra 50 for a video camera. They don't have a map or anything? No. Nada. Oh, baby, I'm so excited. It's so amazing to see pyramids like this, yes. right? Real pyramids from those ancient cultures here in the Americas. We always study them in school. What about you? Do you study them in school in Canada? I don't remember. Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. Probably, yes. <laughs> yeah, but... I can't believe I'm here. This is the main avenue. Oh, yes, that's right there. Calzada de los Muertos. The main avenue here is called the Walk of the Dead, translating. Oh, this place is huge. Yes, and they don't give a map here. So make sure you bring one on your phone. There are digital maps you can find so that you know what you're seeing here. You don't come here to see just the two main pyramids. This was a city, you know, at the height of the civilization here, about 125 to 150,000 people lived here. And along this walk, you see the ruins of the ancient homes. We arrived here at 9.30 in the morning. It opens at 9, and look at this. Basically empty in lots of parts. And this is one of the most visited places in the entire Mexico. Now, here's something interesting, because when you think about pyramids in this part of Mexico, you normally think about the Aztecs. And although the Aztecs lived here, they didn't build this. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah, so who built this? Teotihuacan people. <laughs> the Teotihuacans. This complex here was built 100 years before Christ. And they lived in the area here until the 8th century. That is so cool, baby. We can go inside. Mm -hmm. Look at that. We can go inside over there. Not sure you'll fit here. Oh, <laughs> oh the motifs are right here. Yes, and uh, you know, all this here had colors. It was not just this muted color today. Everything was really colorful. That one was easy, but not here. <laughs> not for tall people, huh? No.
this construction here, the low ground, was built before what we see today above ground. It's very cool. Mm -hmm. This plaza was considered like the best example of a plaza in the pre-Hispanic mm -hmm. world here, or better, a typical pre-Columbian square. We're only about halfway. Yes, and we've been walking for how long now? Hours. <laughs> no, not hours, but at least an hour, I'd say. A lot of places here you cannot uh, climb or get near. Look at this, because this is still an investigation zone. A lot is still unknown about Teotihuacan. Wow, when you think you're getting close, huh? Keeps moving further away. <laughs> it's a mirage. This plaza here is huge, and it's believed that it was a place where people would gather to attend the ceremonies. The Avenue of the Dead was the main commercial center here in Teotihuacan. Wow, exactly one hour walking since the entrance and we're arriving here at the main part where you see the two main pyramids. This is the Pyramid of the Sun and over there, the Pyramid of the Moon. It is really beautiful, so big and so impressive. Wow, this is the biggest pyramid here. The Pyramid of the Sun is the third largest ancient pyramid in the world. Oh, here's the busy part. It looks like everyone arrives and they come here immediately. Yes. There's another entrance right there. <laughs> you know, there's five of them. You can yeah. come directly here. Yes. Yeah, they should stop at the other sides, right? There's so many interesting things and a lot of interesting information. Until a few years ago, we could climb all the way to the top. Not anymore. Although you cannot climb, there are some viewpoints over here that give you a perfect view. This is one of the most visited places in Mexico. In your opinion, is it worth the hype? I don't think it's hype. I think it's actual Verdadji truth. Ancient civilization, right? That built pyramids that lived here too. Absolutely. So. It is absolutely worth it coming here. It is everything that you read online. It is amazing. And when you come here and see all this up close, you, you can't stop thinking, how did people build this yeah. back then? Well, hands and tools. <laughs> it's just so impressive, isn't it? Yes. When you come to Mexico, you have to come here. But do some research in advance uh, so that you can really appreciate this place here and what everything here means. If you don't have the time for the research or if you don't want to do it, it's better to come in a tour. Now, if you also don't want to join a tour, there are plenty of guides here available for you to hire as soon as you arrive here. Here it says that the interior is solid. Here, solid and formed from sand and dirt fills. I thought that there would be something there inside, but no, it's just a solid mess. Why would people go all the way to the top? To see what's on the other side? They probably knew what was on the other side. Oh, okay. There was a temple up there. Okay. And they had sacrifices here too. Oh yeah? What yes. did they sacrifice? human sacrifice, animal sacrifice. Uh, I was reading about the history here and it looks like people came from all Mesoamerica to this place right here and some of them to be sacrificed. Yeah. Yeah, and when you hear Mesoamerica, you know, you read a lot this word. In essence, it means Middle America, you know, this part here of the Americas from Central Mexico down until most of Central America. Wow, when you see the pyramid up close like this, you see that it's not just a massive rock. There are some little rocks coming out of it. It is so impressive. Everything here has a purpose. You may look at something and think, oh, they just did it like this because they thought it was nice and cute. No, there was a purpose. You can go research and you'll find out. It's so amazing to think that this was built so many centuries ago and they had the knowledge to build something like this that survived to this day. Survived weather and time, you know, earthquakes. How long has it taken us to walk just around this pyramid? 20 minutes, 25 yes. minutes. Yes, it is huge. Ah, look at this. 
my question was answered right here. The chunks of stones on the sides served in the prevention of any loosening or slippage of the buildings facing. Ready, baby? I'm going to show you something really cool. Look at this. This is how it used to look like. Look at this. Can you see all the colors? Mm -hmm. Wow. This is an app here called Teotihuacan. It gives you information about this place. And also, there's an augmented reality camera here that you move around and you can see how this place used to look like. All the colors, totally free. This is this little temple here. Mm -hmm. And the Pyramid of the Sun, look at that. It's appearing now. And we're now walking towards the Pyramid of the Moon. Wow, look at this, how cool. You can see some patterns here in some of the constructions. The colors, the little rocks over here. Very detailed. Panther. It's a puma. Puma. Close enough. If you want to buy some souvenirs, some handicrafts here to remember, your visit to Teotihuacan, there are a lot of people selling here inside. This is Plaza de la Luna, or the Moon Square, right in front of the Pyramid of the Moon. And all these constructions here, they were temples. It's believed that they were used to control the access here to the square when some kind of ceremony was going on. As this pyramid here is also closed, you cannot climb it. Let's do the second best thing, which is see it from the viewpoint over there. Wow, look at this. One over here, another over here. Wow. This is amazing. Question for you. What's the meaning of Teotihuacan? Uh, it's the Teotihuacan people. Yeah, but what's the meaning of this Me, word? The people. This means the city where men become gods. What about women? Women too. Yeah, I'm sure. Women were already goddesses, maybe. Uh, <laughs> oh. Think about this, how crazy. The Aztecs, they were looking for a place to settle. They arrived here and found all this abandoned totally abandoned, and they had no idea why. To this date, nobody knows exactly why Teotihuacan was abandoned in first place. Then the Aztecs occupied this place here. They were the ones who chose the names we know today. It explains here, all these names, they came actually after the Teotihuacan people left. So when they arrived at the Avenue of the Dead, they thought that all the constructions around were tombs. There are six pyramids inside the Pyramid of the Moon. Whenever there was a government change here, they used to build a bigger and better one. In this pyramid here, there was also a burial ground for everyone that was sacrificed here. Wow, look at how this used to be. <laughs> so full of buildings here and full of colors. You see a little bit of design. Wow. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. This sculpture here represents the goddess of water and fertility. And this leads to the belief that this complex could have been dedicated to the goddess of flowing water. Another place they're still trying to discover more information about this area here. Archaeologists have discovered that people here even had contact with the Maya. They used to live all the way in Yucatan, but they had no contact with the Aztecs, which were from this region, because the Aztecs were very centuries later. We beat the crowds. Come here early. Come here early for the sun, too. Now, here's something interesting. This place was not chosen randomly, you know, by them to settle. 
this is a great place here for them to hunt, go fishing, um, practice agriculture. They could even mine uh, nearby here, and that was important to create the weapons. So this was a very important commercial center in the entire Mesoamerica. People would come here from all over. Really? Yeah. This was the New York of those days. I wouldn't call it New York. That's what the guy said. If you don't think it was New York, where do you think it was like? It was... It was the... You're speechless. It was a New York, baby. It was a New York. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I found a word here that is even easier for you to pronounce no, compared to Tepiwakan. Yes, easy. <laughs> Say that. It's a papalotol. I think you might be like that, yeah. I hope so. I can't say that either. It's uh, a lotol. It is really hard. <laughs> In addition to the pyramids, there are other palaces and places you can visit here, but some of them, like this one, are closed. We mentioned the sacrifices that they used to do here, huh? right? And uh, today we see sacrifices in a different way compared to how they used to see back then. Do you know what was the importance of why they performed sacrifices? Uh, Human sacrifices? Uh, for the rain to come and for the sign and no. for crops? It was bigger than that, actually, oh. because they believed that the gods sacrificed themselves to create this new world for the humans, you know, after the last destruction. Oh, really? So in exchange, humans needed to sacrifice as well. This is the second world. Could be. So what happened to the people? Nobody knows for sure. Archaeologists believe there was some kind of social unrest because of some kind of changes, maybe environmental changes, and they just left. Why would you abandon a place like this? The New York at the time. The New York at the time. Fear. 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 Who knows? Yes. One of those mysteries. It's quite amazing here. Uh, I think they shut it down too soon. Yes, yeah, it closes really early, right? Yeah. And they close the museum. I wanted to see the museum. Yeah. I want to see artifacts. I guess we have to come back. Not a problem. <laughs> There are different entrances and exits here. It was really nice because we entered from one end and left at the other here, close to the Pyramid of the Moon. That was a perfect drop-off point, actually, from the bus. But make sure you have a map of this location here, because after you walk the entire complex and you get here to the end, if you miss something over there in the beginning, you most likely won't go back. I guess we're the only ones that took the bus. Yeah. Everybody here is on a tour, on their own, and just us here, waiting <laughs> for the bus. And you catch the bus back right at the exit over here too. Very easy. Buenas tardes. No, muchas gracias. Uber, Uber, going to the city. Coming back was also super easy, no problems, and the subway was not even crowded. There are plenty of places over there that you could grab something to eat. We thought it would be a little touristy, so we decided coming back here to town, and we got a lot of recommendations to go to this restaurant called La Casa de Toño, and here we are. Look at this, how cool. The menu is right here on the table. <laughs> if you want something else, it's right here. Tamarind juice to get started. It is tasty, very tasty, very sweet. First time that I try. First time ever in my life, actually. Salud! What did you get? Tacos. Tacos? What kind of tacos? Beef. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah! And I got flautas. Crispy tortilla here with chicken inside, topped with cream and cheese. It comes with lettuce too, but I, I ordered without. Mm. This is one of my favorite Mexican dishes, and I never had it with so much cheese and cream on top like this. It is amazing. 
That was so delicious, fully recommended. Now, if this is the first video of ours that you see, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell. There are a lot more videos coming up.